Now I show you the third possibility of how to create a pushdown automaton that accepts the same language as the context-free grammar. This method will give us a pushdown automaton that works bottom-up, like um, LR parsing. And the grammar is not supposed to contain loops, so to contain chain rules where the non-terminal um, can go back to itself. So that is not allowed. And we have again three states, Q0, Q1 and QF. And I will, do, I will start drawing the transitions for Q0 because they will be a lot. So we will have a loop here with a lot of possible transitions. So first let's take this line. And it says we want to ha we want to have a transition where we go from Q0 to Q0. That's what I did here. We want to read any terminal from the um, yeah, we want to read any terminal from the input string, and we want to have this for all terminals that we have. So in this example, for a and for d. And well, we want to read any symbol from the stack. And we want to put this terminal and the symbol back on the stack. So, um, well, and the symbol we want to read can be part of the, can be element of the non-terminals, or of the terminals, or can be um, Z0. So that is our new um, bottom symbol. So let's just start. First, um, well, let's, let's just start at the beginning. So let's take S. So I want to have a transition where I read A from the stack, where I, uh, where I read A from the input string, where I want to read S from the stack, and where I want to put, where I want to push A and S. And I want to have the same for B. And I want to have the same for C. And I want to have the same for the terminals as well. So I want to read A and read A from the stack and push back two A's and the same for D. And also the same for Z0, our new bottom symbol. Now I did everything I should do for A, but we have another terminal and we want to do the same for all terminals, so I have to do the same again for D. I will take another color and well that will be, uh, well we have to do the same, so we want to read D from the input string, read S from the stack and push back D S. I write it just beside the other transition so that I have um, um, an order in what I in, in what I do here. So what that uh, that are two different transitions. I just want to do the same for D as I did for A. B, D B, and the same for C. And the same for for A, and also the same for D. Let me not forget the comma there. And also the same for Z0. So now we are done with the with what the first line told us to do. Now we have the second line and it says that for all production rules that we have, so we have in this example we have four, we want to make a transition from Q0 to Q0. We want to read nothing from the input string, so we want to read epsilon. And from the stack we want to read um, whatever is on the right hand side of the rule but in reverse order. And we want to push the well the, the non-terminal from the left hand side onto the stack. So for example for the for the first one, 
we want to read the right hand side of the rule in reverse order so CBA and we want to push S on the stack so that's what this line tells us to do now I which color was it? sorry now I want to do the same for the for all the other rules so I want to push epsilon if I want to read epsilon from the input string sorry I want to read the right hand side of the rule in reverse order so I want to read dc and push back b and for the third rule I want to read bs and push c and for the last rule I want to read D, which is the same as forward as backward, and again push C. So now we are done with the second line. Let's do the third line. The third line tells us that we want to have a transition from Q0 to Q1. I, uh, I will draw it here. So transition from Q0 to Q1. And we want to read nothing from the input symbol. Um, well, I I just draw it here, and you know that that it that belongs to the transition. We want to read epsilon from the input string. We want to read the start symbol from the from the stack, and we want to push nothing back onto the stack. And now we are done with that line. And this one will be easy too. We want to make a transition from Q1 to QF. Where we want to read nothing from the input. We want to read that 0 from the stack. And we want to push nothing back. And now this looks really complicated and I will show you in the next video how those automaton processes input words.